hallway. Huh. And I, I started calling my serial box art serialism as a joke. And then I thought, well, if I do serial box art, instead of The Last Supper, I should do The Last Breakfast. The Last what? Breakfast. The last breakfast. So it was, a, it was another humorous idea. Well, and that's will be lunch. <laughs> This one here, can anybody guess what product this was all cut up? You know. It's a soda carton. There's an A in there. Yeah. Well, there's Diet, my A. Diet Coke. Diet, yeah, yeah, Diet Coke, that's right. So let me show you some more of my work. Was that the same place before? In 1999? Yes. That's where I made it. Wow. So why was just a kid? Yeah, uh, I was 33. Oh, wow. This is a famous speech by Shakespeare. This is the entire to be or not to be speech from Hamlet. So I thought it would be interesting to use all these packages from famous brands and spell out the most famous speech in all of Shakespeare. And the original of this took me over six months to do. So sometimes I work on projects that take months and even years on occasion. Everyone's walking in today. I pick different characters to represent the characters in the play. So like there's the king, Claudius, and there's his wife. And she drinks the, sips the poisonous drink. And there's Hamlet, the little prince. And there's Polonius, his right-hand man, and Ophelia and Laertes, they were brother and sister. And there's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. So I picked different characters to represent. And how long did it take? This took over six months to make. And this is a poster, but the original is much bigger in real life. It's 32 by 40 inches. And where is it now? In my living room. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you a couple more. With this one, I decided to use. Oh, we'll get out of the way. Yeah, sorry. Hello. Sorry about that. With this one, I decided to use all the numbers that I could find. And this is the number pi to 200 digits. One, four, one, four, one. 1415926535383897 You were? <laughs> so Pi doesn't end. It never ends. No. So this is a, the, the very beginning of it, 190 digits. I actually did a larger poster of it. Do you know all the 190? No. Oh, I don't. But I printed out 2,000 digits. Oh. If you want to print out a million digits, you can. You just have to use all your paper and all your ink. <laughs> well, I thought it would be an interesting thing to combine math and art like this. And this is the most famous number. So this one here, this is a shopping bag from D'Agostino Supermarkets. And it's got real silver ink on it. And you can see how the light kind of flashes on it because it's got real silver ink. This was a poster for a show I had 20 years ago. And just a couple more. Come down. I, I have a book. I have a book about my art, which I'm going to show you in the art room. And it's called An Artist's America. This was my original artwork for the cover of the book, which they rejected. And they changed it. Just, just step. Oh, we got somebody coming. This is like Grand Central Station. It is. This is All awesome. The time. It is. Yes. Yes. That's good. It's, a busy place. it's good to be busy. So, this was the cover artwork for my book. And when I show you the actual book cover, you'll see they changed it. They didn't like my own art for my own book about me. It's crazy. <laughs> really? They didn't think it would sell. Coming through. Hello. Hi, Annette. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. Hello. How are you? Sure. Finally, I've got two last ones to show you. 
This one I think might be one of my greatest pieces. This is the entire Gettysburg Address speech by Abraham Lincoln. And I love learning about Abraham Lincoln and the Gettysburg Address speech might be one of the most beautiful speeches in American history. And I just thought it's so interesting as a subject for my art because everybody has heard of this speech. And um, so I spent over five months cutting out letters and spelling the entire speech. Wow. I just was at the Lincoln Library in Springfield. Really? Yes. Yeah. I guess they would love to have yeah. that. Yeah, that's true. Well, I have information with some, some people ask me, do I plan it out? Well, if you look at this closely, you'll see it started out nice and big. And then I realized when I got about halfway down that it was not going to fit. So I did very <laughs> tiny yes. letters at the bottom to make, and I worked kind of like backwards to try to make it fit. And it, fortunately, it all fit. Because I thought if I worked on this for five months and I didn't have all the words to it, that would be unfortunate. Just to make the picture bigger. <laughs> I guess so. But I think it looks beautiful. And this doesn't have any images like logos or anything. It just has words and little bits and pieces of color to fill in the space. It stands. And then finally, this is another one of my deconstructed packages. Does anybody know what this one is? Looks like crackers. Ritz crackers. And here in the center is my initials, M.A., like I told you I do. And here's another M.A. And there's another M.A. So, I brought some boxes with me. I, I brought some boxes with me, and we're going to see if we can make a little project. So we're going to head right back there. Yeah. This was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.